Hey everybody, Dave here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So this week I want to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to build a structure. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm sure there's going to be some struggles, but Gravity Falls is one of my favorite animated series. I just love it. It's so well done. And I thought, can I build a mystery shack? Come on, let's try it. Okay, so I got a nice front view drawing that I made, and I was going to try and build the whole thing, all these different patterns and stuff, but it's getting like way too complicated, and I'm not an architect, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece so I can use that as a template to cut out my foam court, and then I'm just going to kind of eyeball the rest. I've got a whole bunch of templates printed out here from Gravity Falls, so I have some good reference points. So I think once I have this front piece, I can kind of just cut some foam core and make it work. So let's get hacking up some foam core. All right, so here's where I'm at right now. It's actually surprisingly turning out okay. Um, it's just a lot of cutting pieces and lining them up and kind of trimming it as needed. So I'm gonna keep plugging away. I think I've got a little balcony, the chimney, and then uh, I think there's another little doorway here. So um, let's go ahead and finish up this process through some magic. Okay, here we have it. First off, this is a really messy project. Like, there's just stuff everywhere, so. But uh, yeah, I think I have all of the little side pieces and little details built and blocked out. And now it is time to start doing the detail, which is kind of the part that I'm really looking forward to. So let's get to it. All right, what I'm doing here is I am just dremeling down the dowels so they're not perfectly round and just hacking up little pieces to start gluing down. All right, as I'm gluing these down, I'm just kind of going piece by piece. It does take a while. I ended up going through three of these dowels. They're each three feet long, so you're talking about nine feet of dowel just to get this done, so whew. Okay, so what I'm doing here is, as I was cutting these, I can easily just do some measurements and cut, but as it gets in here, it's a little bit harder to figure out the angles and stuff, so. I don't know if this is the right way, but it seems to work for me. I made a template um, of this shape. And now what I should be able to do with that template, um, I'm going to just start doing my measurements and cuts off of that. So we'll see if that works. What I'm doing here is just putting a black base down so when I put my shingles on, I won't have to deal with this white paper. Hey kids, it's shingle time. Chop, 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 so many shingles. All right, so here's just a quick update of where I'm at. You can see I've got some shingles going here. When I first started doing this, I tried some cardboard shingles and the cardboard was just too thin. In the cartoon, the shingles actually have some depth to them so I just didn't like the cardboard so I'm using balsa wood I have no clue if that's a dumb idea or not but it seems to be working okay for me a couple things that I did learn uh, the grain of the balsa wood I was going uh, the grain this way horizontally and it should have been going vertically I have since switched and it makes it a lot easier I think that will cover up just fine once I do my Maj Paj also another thing is the original balsa that I was using was pretty thick, so I was taking a tool and burnishing down one side of it to kind of give a little bit of a flattened, yeah, you can see it here, kind of a wedge shape, so they lay a little bit nicer, but it was a lot of work and it was really hard. So I have since switched to a thinner balsa wood, and as you can see here, I got a little shingle, and I can literally just with my fingers kind of press it together, and I get that nice little shingle shape, and boom. I was also hot gluing them. 
And the hot glue is just making this huge stringy mess, so I have since switched to tacky glue, and this has been working a lot better. So let's keep sticking shingles on. Got the first side done. Oh, a little bit more to go. <laughs> Holy tiles, that's a lot of work. Okay, so here's how it's coming. I'm still working on the shingles. Um, I was putting them on individually like this. And then I was looking at um, Black Magic Crafts website and he was doing something with foam core where he actually cut these really thin pieces and then just cut these random tiles. And I think he also did something with cardboard. Um, but anyways, I thought oh, I might try that with the balsa wood and it's actually working quite nice. I can get a quite a bit larger strip. Uh, these are just some extras that I had so I wouldn't have just used those to fill in, but I've done it in a couple spots and I think it's gonna work pretty great. And then I'm also trying to figure out this balcony. Um, <laughs> in the cartoon, it's kind of crazy. Some of the illustrations, the uh, balcony tapers all the way into the roof and others, it comes out a little bit. So, for me, it just works better if I have a little bit of a ledge. It may not be canon per se, but I think this is gonna work for what I'm doing. And then I'm trying to figure out this stained glass window here. I do have some really thin um, balsa wood that I was thinking maybe I'll kind of build a little frame there, but it's still a little too thick. So I think what I'm gonna do is lay it out on the computer and then I'm gonna cut it with my little vinyl cutter. I can cut the polystyrene and I'll at least cut the frame with the little triangle. It's, I think it represents Bill Cipher. And then there's a couple X's here for the stained glass. So I'm gonna cut a polystyrene frame and then I'm gonna back it with some sort of colored transparency paper, or colored mylar or something, so. This actually turned out pretty cool. I just took some trash or recycled plastic and I just super glued this polystyrene frame onto that, trimmed it down, and took some colored Sharpie markers and it gave me a really nice stained glass look. Eventually I want to put some LED lights in there. I'm not going to do it just yet. I need a little bit of help to understand how to put multiple lights in, but I think this is going to look pretty cool. Now, I didn't want to hand paint all of this, so I actually just drew this on the computer, cut it out in polystyrene, and I was actually able to, you see I have multiples here, I was actually able to trim these out and stack a few on top of each other and just glue them together and that gave me a nice depth to this sign because the shack part looks like it's cut out of wood or something so here it is glued together and I think that dimension gives a really nice look here I am just painting up the signs just using a little bit of yellow mixed with white and I kind of did the same for the word mystery. I didn't want to try and hand paint it. I thought there's something really iconic about the look of this. So I drew it on the computer, put some vinyl, um, used it as a mask. And you can see as I'm painting it, I'm actually kind of doing it brushy. So it looks like it was almost hand painted. And I think this turned out really, really cool and kind of authentic looking. So there is a split in the roof and boy was this scary to do. I thought, oh boy, if I mess this up, I am in trouble, but uh, you just got to do it and it turned out all right. Okay, it's time to fix that split. So there's a couple of boards, actually three boards, so I'm just taking some poles of wood, trim this down to look like a, a board, and I'm just taking a scribe tool and kind of wiggling my hand back and forth and giving it a cool irregular look for a board. So 
So for the chimney, you can see there I have all these pieces of foam core that were like patched together. So I am just using some lightweight spackle and filling that in. And I've got some trees from a little walk that I took at lunch. And I just trimmed them down, glued them on, and putting it all together. I think it looks pretty authentic. Hinges of the front door, I actually just took some scrap polystyrene that I had laying around and cut these little triangles and rectangles and just kind of made do with what I had. Alright, so I was trying to make these doors out of this um, balsa wood and I backed it with some paper thinking that that might work, but I really hate this. It looks so dorky. So. I am going to go over here to my computer and I have built the doors and some signs um, and I am going to attempt to cut this out of polystyrene and at the bottom here I'm going to use that um, as vinyl stickers and I'm going to put that on some clear plastic, just recycled plastic and then color that. If you noticed on that document that I just showed I had some bricks laid out here and this actually just gives some dimension to the chimney so it's not this kind of flat piece. And so when I paint this and dry brush, it'll look really cool. Here I am just making the little weather vane. Question mark says what? And now just taking some coffee stir sticks and let's snip these little guys up and let's start making these into a deck. All right, here's a little couch that I made out of some polystyrene. I think that turned out pretty fun. And then I'm gonna make the pit soda machine. That's the soda that they drink. Just making that out of polystyrene. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm working on the deck and I have these coffee stir sticks that I just got at my grocery store. I've been just snipping them down. I'm lining them up here. Just doing a little mark with a pencil. So I know about where to trim it and then get a close up here. There we go. You can see I am taking my X-Acto knife and I'm just carving the edges a little bit and then I'm taking this little punch thing, I don't even know what it is, and I'm just gouging and scoring little wood grains on there. Oh, one other thing really quick that's kind of fun is uh, the base here, eventually I want to put lights in it. So I, let me pull this apart. I actually did four magnets and then four magnets here so I am able to take the base off and on just like that. A little tip I learned from Stutzen Studio and Black Magic Craft, take some little pieces of foam, shake it up with rocks in it and it gives you these really nice textured bricks that look great. Okay, it is looking really good. It is ready to start priming this. I was originally going to do Mod Podge. I see a lot of makers do Mod Podge over the whole thing, but for me, um, it wasn't working so great. So I did do Mod Podge over all of the styrofoam. Um, that way, when I did spray paint with a primer, it didn't have any problems. Here I am just putting on some, this is really just generic cheap acrylic paints browns and tans nothing fancy at all literally like less than a dollar for those little tubes of paint at your hobby store and then I'm putting some reddish wash down first wiping that off and then I'm putting down a little bit darker brown wash just to give some dimension to this thing I was thinking I was pretty much done and I forgot about this little stovepipe thing that comes out of the back. So I'm just taking two sizes of polystyrene and gluing them together and letting it be a little bit wonky and uh, turn out pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and paint this thing up silver and it's just going to add a nice little detail. All right, I am in the home stretch. I am gluing all of these components on. I just glued this stuff down. I'm going to glue the Mystery Shack sign, the uh, gift shop sign, all that stuff. So we are getting really close. Let me finish gluing this up and then oh, I think we'll call this one quits. <laughs> it's done. 
the, there were so many struggles on this project, but I, I learned a ton from it. And for, I have to give a huge shout out to Stetson Studio and Black Magic Craft for their tutorials on how to build buildings because buildings are not for the faint of heart. The shingles, oh my word, like I, if somebody can, yeah, find a magic button for that, that would be awesome. But it, this was a really fun project. I've been wanting to build this for a really long time and it took me over the period of about four weeks to build this and it is it's done and it feels really good so uh, let's take some turnaround shots of this thing and check it out uh, don't forget to hit that like subscribe notification bell and as always it is a great day to be a toy nerd oh i need to there we go that's a little bit more official come on let's check it out